You found Paul Daddy's Blind Hog Barbecue. Today, we're gonna find the best tasting barbecue sauce for you. This is a blind taste test. The judges have no idea which sauces we're using. They were surprised by the results, and I think you will be too. <laughs> Start with A1. I need to do that. Okay, then we got B2. Okay, and last we got G7. Rank them from first to last. Number one will be first place, number seven is in last place. We're starting with number seven, and number seven turned out to be E5. E5 is the loser. <laughs> okay. Famous day. Never, never heard of it. Well, he came in last this time. Yeah. Very uh, tomato y. That's what I wrote, tomato. Yeah. That's what everybody got tomato, strong yeah. tomato. Yeah, it tasted like you'd put it on pizza. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sixth place, G7. Oh! oh. Stubbies. Your family. Not this time. Uh, well, I had that marked as my fourth favorite. Uh, just, I just noted as it was uh, spicy. It also tasted like tomato sauce for me. Like I wrote beans. <laughs> <coughs> but I like beans. And I mean, we, that was... we always keep stubs at our house. Yeah. Well, you know, when you don't taste them together, you don't really know. Okay, and this would be fifth place. It's F6. Casey's nice masterpiece, fifth uh, place. That is, uh, uh, well, that actually mine is marked that down three. as I thought that was Stubbs. I just uh, had a had a familiar taste to me, which I do like. <laughs> I do like Casey. Uh, I said it tasted weird at first, but after a little bit, it tasted good. So, okay. fourth place, D four, Kraft. Ow. Is that what we got? Kraft original. This was my second least favorite. I think you got uh, outvoted. <laughs> it was a kind of had a sour taste. Which one was it? Honestly, I love it. It's D four. Yeah, yeah. I put it as number one. I put mine as number five. Yeah. It didn't taste like BBQ sauce to me. <laughs> they do make good macaroni. <laughs> <laughs> Bonnie, I'm sure the craft people will be in touch. Yes, <laughs> they should. Let's go with B two, number three, third B place. B two. B two, number three. Uh, Kinders. Uh, that was my number three pick. Um, all I wrote was it was had a spicy taste, but I've never heard of it. So maybe we should start buying it. <clears throat> I put, like, I noticed it had chunks in it, which surprised me. <clears throat> and it was a little too spicy. So I put, I, I gave it a four, like, it was in fourth place for me, so. Second place, SBR, oh, yeah. Sweet Baby Rays. <laughs> we love Sweet Baby Rays. Nice. Uh, yeah. So that was my second place also. Actually sweet had the fruit. same, similar description as my first place, which I thought first place was the Sweet Baby Rays. But it's uh, thick and tangy and <laughs> tangy. Good. Tangy. Thick and tangy. And thick sweet thick. Baby Rays, so, I, I yeah. think they're the most popular and very reasonably priced and available everywhere. Right. Yep, same thing. Uh, uh, I said it, I said it had an okay taste, but it was a little underwhelming. So, what, what did it rank for you? It was my second pick too. Uh, so, so you nailed it, nailed it. Nailed it. Nailed it. Oh, now we're all waiting to see what number one is, and it was A one, Bullseye. Oh, never heard of it. Me neither. <laughs> Where have y'all been? I've Bullseye it, Everyday Barbecue Sauce Original. I've never heard of it, but uh, well, sweet, it, tangy, and bold. Just, just like baby, was, that was my number one. I thought that was the okay. sweet baby race. Bullseye is mm. widely available and moderately priced, and dollar stores have it. It was my first pick. Uh, it had a really good taste. It wasn't too spicy, and if I had to give it like a a one to ten, I give it a nine out of ten because wow. it was like a. Yeah. 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 We'd like to thank our judges, Ryan, Rodney, and Bryce. And we'd like to thank our viewers. 
Awesome. We hope to see you next time at Paul Daddy's yeah. Blind Hog Barbecue. Awesome. Who makes that one though? Yeah. <laughs>